Good morning everybody, Mel Sol here. Today is Thursday the 9th of February and Thursdays we talk about technical Thursdays and I haven't done the driver for a while and so today I want to talk about hitting the ball further, gaining distance. Almost everybody that I know wants to hit the ball further including me. So what you've got to understand is there's only one thing that gives you distance and that's club head speed. That club head is traveling at 100 mile an hour, you're going to hit the ball about 250 in the air. If you want to hit the ball 300, you've got to get this up there. You've got to get it to 210, 215. So speed is important. So one of the things you want to do is practice, and you can do this you know, at home, but you want to practice swinging hard, generating speed. You can hear the sound there. I'm swinging really hard. That's not quite as hard as I'm going to hit it when I hit the golf ball because I have to understand my accuracy. But in order to teach the body to react, you watch Jordan Spieth, you watch Rory McIlroy. Those guys don't stand up there and dink the ball. They stand up there and they rip it. If you want to hit the ball, number one, speed. Number two, body rotation. What you'll notice, and watch carefully next time they do these golfers in slow motion, particularly somebody like Dustin Johnson who hits the ball so far, is when he starts his downswing here, this left side is going to go up. And if you watch his belt in particular, and watch his belt buckle, when he gets here, as he gets to about this position right here, you'll notice everything here will start going up as he comes through. What he's doing is he's pushing, he's using the ground as a force. He's using the ground force to generate, and he's trying to move it at an angle like that. This belt buckle is going forward and up. So I want you to practice just from here doing that, coming up. And what you'll notice as this leg straightens, this hip will turn automatically. You don't have to think about turning the hip. That's going to go automatically. Now that's going to take a little bit of time. As I said, this is technical Thursday, so we have to now work on technique. So on the practice range, you're going to now add speed, but now with this, using this ground force. So now you can see I'm pushing off here and doing that. Now, go to the ball. Now, I don't care where the ball goes. I'm focusing on speed and pushing off. Now, I fed that ball out to the right because my body really swung fast and I left the club face open a little bit. That's what I'm saying. When you're working on this initially, don't worry too much about the direction. So now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to try and stay in my posture a little bit longer, but I'm creating speed and ground force. See, I'm swinging as hard as I can. That ball went right, not as bad as the first one. And now this is how I would swing on the golf course. Now I'm going to still feel all of those things, but I'm going to dial it back just a little bit. Caught that one a little thin because I'm concentrating on pushing up. What you can see as you're doing this, don't get wrapped up in, oh, that was a terrible shot. You're on the range, you're working on your game, who cares where the ball goes? Get this right. When this is right, you know, my philosophy has always been good technique will always win in the end. So once I'm working and get my technique correct, oh, now I'll take that all day. So just remember, your power comes from thrusting up and turning and club head speed. Work on that. You'll love the distance you're going to get.